What is going on everybody? So today we have a Pizza Hut muck bong. Muck bong, we about to smash, smash. Oh, so it's been a busy day. I got a fork case, my topics fall off. So, um, got me some ice in my cup. And I'm fixing the, normally I have lemonade. But since this is the hut, we gonna keep it all the way 100. Y'all know I ain't big on soda. And we gonna um, put us some uh, kicks in the cup. Can y'all see this? All right, too close. Mm -hmm. Nice. Delicious mouth water. Just mouth water. Delicious. Mm. Mm. Ice cold kick. Get some pizza. Put my top on my cup. So I forgot, we forgot the cheese, and we normally have Parmesan cheese in the refrigerator, but out of all days, we was out today. So anyway, we got Supreme, pepperoni, Canadian bacon, and Italian sausage, and I got more Supreme under there. So let's bless this food. I'm going to turn the ceiling fan out because it's making my food cold. For dessert, we got Oreo cookies. That's if I can hold them after we eat this. We finna have some. Mm. My husband got like, hand toss crust. And I like pinion, but I wasn't paying for it, so I couldn't exactly get the one I wanted. So anyway. Mmm. It's still hot and delicious. I almost let it get cold. Trying to set the camera up. Mm, I never did my thumbnail. I like to do my thumbnail before I get the food. Between my teeth. Y'all eat y'all pizza, do y'all eat the crust even if it ain't stuff? I can't 
eat real fast. Ooh. <coughs> See what Pepsi do to me? Excuse me. Excuse me. I should have known about my cookies in here. I like. I like my cookies with my food. Like, like my dessert. I like to have my dessert with my food. Mm -hmm. I guess my hubby full. I can hear him in here and I suck his teeth. I hear my dog is in trouble. So what's been going on? It's finally August we got a mushroom. We got the have and the have not coming back. We got green leaf. At the start, Queen Sugar probably finna go off because it's getting good. When I mean, it starts getting good, it'll be back to go off now. I missed the season finale of Pose, I think. I'm not gonna be able to hold no cookies after this. Mm. I got my ranch dressing. I normally have ketchup and ranch dressing. I do barbecue sauce. And ranch dressing. Well, I don't want. I don't want my stomach to be hurt tonight. Mm. My meatballs falling off in my. That's not these YouTubers, y'all. <clears throat> I'm getting annoyed with some of these YouTubers that see people in they live <clears throat> and they live and under their comments. Ignore. Don't be replying to them to certain people when they in live chats. 
they only act to certain people. If you talk to them and try to tell them they do that, then you're jealous. There ain't nothing to be jealous about. We're just trying to bring it to you. People may be trying to bring it to someone's attention so they can realize that they do it. Because just in case they don't realize it because it may be intentional. Unintentional. I do know a few YouTubers that have done it un unintentional. Because they be looking for replies for particular comments, but this is a, one of the reasons that I've never just went live because I don't want to miss anybody's comments and offend anybody. Small YouTubers. Y'all. Some small YouTubers think. I am a small YouTuber. But new. I, I guess instead of saying small. I should say beginner. New YouTubers. New YouTubers think that when people subscribe to their channels, that they're gonna they're supposed to watch every single video they post immediately soon as they post they think if they have 30 subscribers they're gonna have 30 views within an hour of the video being up that's not how it works first of all you need to keep in mind that other creators are also creating because when you first start out, most of your supporters are going to be other creators. So you, you build your own fan base. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. It's going to be, uh, if they trying to create, edit, and keep their own channel going, they're not going to be able to stay on your channel nonstop. Second thing is, more than likely, you not the only person they subscribe to. Because I'm personally subscribed to roughly about 900 people. Yeah, that's a lot of people. I'm roughly... Ooh, I didn't think it was on there because I didn't hear it. I'm roughly subscribed to about literally like 900 people. So, I try to watch whatever's in my notifications when it comes up. And some people put out two or three videos a day, a video every day, and I don't get to everybody. And I just be trying to keep up. So, if I don't watch your stuff, it's not intentional. I got a list of people that I try to support somewhere over here. On the list, 
It's pretty. I mean, I got pages of people, y'all. That. I try to go back, starting with this page. I have pages on pages of people that I try to support. That's just in this book. So, stop getting offended. The second thing. Do not friend people and unfriend them and claim you won't support. You're going to be known and labeled as a fake YouTuber. Those names highlighted in that book are fake YouTubers. People that unsubscribe. And it's obvious to know who unsubscribes.
I probably could eat one more piece, but I did a whole bunch of detoxing to I did a liver well y'all seen the video. I did the liver cleanse, kidney cleanse, colon cleanse. And it struck my stomach. So I ate five pieces of pizza. And I guess I probably could have ate a whole large, but I don't want to stretch my stomach back out. So I can't just eat, I don't, you know, eat that much food. Because your girl still trying to keep her, the weight I have lost off. And lose some more. I call Saturday and Sunday my cheat meal days. People say you can't have no cheat day. It ain't no such thing. But with the same look. Yeah, I've never had a seafood boy because I'm not that fond of seafood. <laughs> so, I want to do one, but I'm a little scared. So, I do corn, I do the potatoes, I do the shrimp. I do, I've never eaten crawfish. And for those of you that don't know, I just started eating fish, period, from fried to baked, maybe like five years ago. And I only ate it then because my daddy knows how to fix fish and season it where it doesn't taste like pulling water and smell like dirty cooter, you know, taste like dirty cooter smell. I can't eat everybody's fish. Not about to happen. So. I do know I like crab meat. My neighbor. I think she used to live in Rhode Island. My husband's Italian. Or a part of town. Hell something. So I should stop opening my door, dog. cook like um, all that crab and stuff like pick out the good ones you know how to cook out the pick out and buy like the good mussels and the good crabs fresh all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. and make this garlic seasoning and butter and all this kind of stuff and before um uh, Um, mukbang thing started on YouTube. This was years ago, probably like 10 years ago, 11 years ago, maybe even 12. She would be so excited when she got her hands on a certain kind of crab fresh from like. Maine or something, or she got it some kind of way. As you know, we always in Mississippi, Maine. That's where she used to live, Maine. It was Maine where she stayed. And they would smell so good. And I didn't do all that breaking open and cracking and popping. And she would have me some meat already pulled to the side. So, I don't know how a seafood boy gonna go for me, but I'm gonna do one. And it'll be my first one. And I'm sure this is gonna be crazy, so don't judge me. Mmm, mm, I like bread. 
Normally, I would give this bread to my dog, but she acting a butt. She's trying to have it. Because she being bad. So, I'm probably going to give it to my dog outside. Anywho. That was really good. This has been a, a beautiful Saturday. I hope you guys had a good Saturday. Anyway. Sasha, get away from that dog. My dog is like a peeping tongue. Tell me what y'all ate tonight. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Leave it in the comments below. And I thank you guys for watching. I don't know all these napkins as you say. <laughs> Bye.